Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Showy Hornet DS Adventure Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. First glance at the Showy Hornet DS. DS stands for Dual Sport. Dual Sport, Enduro, Hybrid, these helmets all have different names, but they accomplish the same thing. What they are in a nutshell are an off-road helmet designed with a peak that will work at speed, that also gives you the ability to have a shield. So think upright adventure touring bike, KTM 990, BMW 1200 GS, V-Strom, bikes that you're gonna be able to do some dual sporting, either light or heavy, but also take them on the road at higher speed, 60 plus miles an hour. These are helmets that give you the best of both worlds. Now we look at the Showy Hornet DS. It's really one of the more premier or premium dual sport helmets that we have in the line. You know, there is an Arai XD3, which in my opinion is the top of the food chain. They invented the dual sport helmet. And I would say that the Showy Hornet DS is really the helmet that competes with that Arai helmet. Now from there down, you do have some other helmets from other manufacturers that have different price points. But you have to remember, you get what you pay for a lot of times from a helmet technology standpoint. And the Showy Hornet DS is certainly a bigger investment. You're gonna be around that sub $500 price point. If we look at it, let's talk about fit. Intermediate oval head shape, a head shape that's going to be really similar to the RF 1100. Almost slightly narrow if you want to go that way, but it's not a full-on long oval that might that would be so long that it wouldn't fit a lot of people. It's that classic showy shape, not the Quest, that RF 1100 shape that we hear about so much. I'm a medium. I'm a medium in my RF 1100. The Showy Hornet DS fits me in a medium as well. Now, when we talk about weight, we, made, we weighed this guy, this is a size large, three pounds, 11.4 ounces, anything in that range for a Snell 2005 certified DOT rated helmet. That's gonna be great. It's got a lot going on here. There's a peak, there's a larger than average visor, great, great, view, great visibility. That's a solid, solid weight and the weight is gonna be evenly distributed. Now, if we look at it, let's jump into some of the nuances. Let's walk through the shell. Let's jump right in here and break this guy down front to back. Shell is going to be the AIM Plus shell, which is that integrated matrix. I know that sounds like gobbledygook or marketing speak, but really what it means, it's a, it's, it's a, a shell made from different composite materials. It's going to be lightweight and strong that are going to perform at that same level that we see in that RF 1100, which in my opinion is that flagship showy helmet. If we look, it's going to be, I talked about the intermediate shell the intermediate shell shape, a wide range of sizes, and we do have a handful of different colors. This is gonna be the gray version. It's nice, it's this flat gray, really, really beautiful. If we look at some of the aerodynamic features, first thing that sticks out is we do have a peak. We have a peak that's gonna give you a good amount of coverage, but notice the way that it's done here. I'm gonna tilt it up in the back here. It's an aerodynamic peak. It's meant to not get in the way, to be able to be calm and quiet at speed, to not buff it on you, again, this helmet's assuming that you're gonna be riding 60, 70, 80 plus miles an hour when you are on the road, depending on the type of rider that you are. And this, this peak has to perform that way. Whereas a dirt helmet's peak doesn't have to be as aerodynamic, but it's a little bit of different usage. You do have integrated, integrated vents in the peak. So we have a peak on we have a vent on top that's going to vent to the EPS. Two vents in the front along the brow. You can see them in here. A little tougher to get to with the glove on, but again, they do live under that peak. It's a trade-off when you have a peak like that. The bolts here on the peak are going to be nylon, and that's for that's on purpose. You have some dirt helmets that are built with, with a peak that the peak is going to crumple and smash and be destroyed if you if you go down. On this helmet, what it doesn't want to do, especially knowing that you're going to be potentially going faster on the road, it doesn't want to hang you up on anything. So the way that it's designed is the peak, the peak actually doesn't break, it shears away. So these nylon bolts are breakaway bolts. Dropping it on its head off the side of your bike is not going to break those bolts, but a crash will. And that's by design. They're easily replaceable. Again, it's a nice safety feature. And you can ride this helmet with the peak on, with the peak off, with the shield on, with the shield off. Now, if we look at the way the shield is designed, again, it's a more off-road style eye port Great visibility top to bottom, great visibility left to right. You're getting a limited amount of distortion because this is showy. You do have a shield that's more optically correct than some of the more entry level shields on the market. And from there, let's jump back into the ventilation. So at our chin here, we have a big chin vent. It's gnarly looking, has an aggressive look. It's gonna vent directly to the face as well as the shield for anti-fogging. Even at the top of the shield here, we're gonna see that we have, if I get my finger in there, you have some light ventilation here as well that's gonna suck air in when you have it in the open position and pull that air up and through the helmet. Now, being that it is a dual sport helmet, you can't really call it a quick change shield mechanism. And again, that's par for the course. I don't think there's any 
hybrid style or dual sport style helmets that have a visor that make it really fast and easy to uh, change a shield without without a uh, tool. But again, with this guy, you can usually take a dime and just quickly unscrew it and pull it off if you like. The other thing that I want to home in on here, and this is what I call one, why I call this one of the more high-end helmets, is notice where my finger is right there. You're going to see that that's a, there's a gap, and there's a gap on the side underneath where this shield meets the helmet. Now you see on the front we have this big gasket that creates this bead that goes all the way around and that's going to give you a great seal from all the weather. You're assuming you're riding this in all conditions. Dirty, dusty, windy, muddy, potentially in the rain. So you're going to get that good seal at the top to create that bead. But what you have is the ability to, if you're wearing, if you're really riding some gnarly off-road, a lot of guys will wear their goggles and they'll use the shield as just like in a pinch, put the shield down. So you're riding your goggles, you're getting the maximum airflow through the helmet, you're working hard, hit a quick patch of major gnarly dust, pull your shield down, get through it, allow this to come, almost kind of work as your tear off there, and then pop it back up and you have your clean goggles underneath. Again, just a nice tip that we get from a lot of the riders that are wearing this helmet. It's a good usage feature there. Moving into the back, we have a couple Venturis here on the top. Easily findable with a gloved hand, low profile. They're going to allow you to open and close those 10 millimeter vent holes that are going to allow warm, moist air to channel through the EPS and out of the helmet. And then also down here, there's no winglets along the back, but underneath the helmet, you're going to see that we have this diffuser at the bottom as well. And what that is, is when your, your air goes in through the front, in through the chimney vents, which are three of them, cycles down, some, some exhaust through the Venturis, some will make it all the way down to the back of your head and then come down under your neck and be diffused out the bottom. So moving into the guts of the Shoei Hornet DS, again, you're looking at a premium helmet. So you're going to have really comfortable, wicking, antimicrobial guts. It's the high-end guts that you'd see in a Shoei RF 1100. Fully removable, fully, fully cleanable. I believe multiple sizes of cheek pads. Um, when you get this, you're going to be able to tune it to your face. So these are size 39. This is what's going to come stock on a large. And notice the neck roll is incorporated with the cheek pad. What I'd like to see on this helmet, if I had to nitpick it, I'd love to see bigger cutouts for speakers along the ears, but you do have some room to be able to install a speaker. And then if you're going to install an aftermarket comm unit, you do it right along this ridge on the side. So let me pull out our other, our other cheek pad here. Double D-ring closure. There are different models on the market, not from Shoei, that sometimes use a ratchet system. Double D-ring is the most popular, and in our opinion, the most safe. Here's my other cheek pad. Notice the different material. One of the things of note too with the Shoei Hornet DS is that folks that wear glasses have had a great experience with this helmet. The way that the cheek pads come up around the temples, it's nice and soft. You do have some room there. You can get away with uh, wearing glasses on this helmet, no problem. And now I'm going to pull out my main comfort liner. First thing I'm going to home in on is that it's a 3D liner, which you can see. It's got a lot of mesh on it. Lots of cutouts, so it's going to give you a lot of airflow. Again, this is a helmet that potentially you could be working pretty hard in the off-road world on. Now, if we look at it, we have no snaps here along the forehead. It actually snaps in along the brow, so it's not going to give you any pressure points. And notice that these are low-profile snaps, and they're down here below your occipital ridge on the back of your head. Again, out of harm's way. Another spot that you have plenty of padding, and you're not going to feel them at all. So nice touch from showing. If we look at it, notice it's that 3D mesh design. Again, wicking, easily removable. If you're running... In the summer, pull over to a gas station, run it under some cold water, let it air dry, and you're good to go. Now, it is dark, so it's going to be a little tougher to see, but if I move in here into the EPS, you can see the big channels starting up along, along the vent holes on the brow. Three big holes, they come down, they vent to the helmet, and you're going to see those big channels that run down along the backside, you know, that are going to exit down here. Again, giving you the maximum availability for airflow to reach a lot of different portions of your head and then get out of that helmet. Remember, that Venturi effect is going to, at speed, suck warm, moist air out of the helmet. A lot of different colors available. The sizing is going to be intermediate oval. If you fit a showy helmet, except for the Quest, where the Quest is a little bit rounder, this helmet should fit you no problems. We want to hear your feedback. Are you a longtime Showy Hornet DS user? Are you just seeing it for the first time? Leave us your comments on Revzilla TV, where you can always subscribe to us. That's on YouTube. Stay up to date with all the latest gear reviews that are constantly rolling out each week. And feel free to join our community. Leave your comments. Leave your questions. Also, leave a product review or ask a question on the product detail page at Revzilla.com. We always love to hear from you. If you have any questions, shoot our Gear Geeks line, CS at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. And as always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free. No restock if you need to send it back to us. And you can always earn TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order. Part of our way of saving you some money in the long run on products over 100 bucks. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown on the Shoei Hornet DS. 
Adventure, Dual Sport, Enduro Helmet, available at RevZilla.com slash showy. I am Anthony. I'll be here all week.